Have you ever been going to send some photos in Gmail and got the dreaded message, maximum file size exceeded? In this video, I'm going to show you a tip that is going to allow you to send more pictures in your Gmail account and get rid of that dreaded maximum file size. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we help seniors with technology and get them to increase their efficiency using Gmail and allow them to send more pictures in their Gmail. So today I'd like to talk about sending photos in Gmail. I get a lot of questions about this because there is some frustration. There is a maximum amount numbered and also file size that you can send in Gmail. Once the, once the package gets too big, then they're going to say, no, you can't add any more pictures. Now, you also can send it as an attachment, and I'll show you both and how that works. And I found a new way to send more pictures, and I'm going to share that with you today. It's super easy, and I'm sure you'll want to try this out when I show you how to do it. But let's talk about sending pictures in Gmail. All right, so you probably all click that little button that says add pictures. Well, you can either add pictures into Gmail. In other words, you can go to wherever you have your pictures and add them directly into Gmail and they will be actually pictures there. Or you can add them as an attachment. But both ways of doing it have a limited number of pictures, depending how big the pictures are and what size. Now, I'm going to keep this real simple today. This tip is for someone who knows really nothing about Gmail and is just starting out, but finding they want to put more pictures in the body of their Gmail. Let me show you how to do this. Now, in this email, I want to send friends of mine pictures of all the beautiful rhododendrons I have in my yard, all the gardening work I've been doing, and I want to send the pictures in this Gmail. So let's have a look and see how I'm going to do it. So as you all know, if we come down, let's go way down here to the bottom, you'll see this little button that says insert photos. So let's go and we're going to put some pictures in here and we're going to see and we're going to send them to all my friends. OK, so here we are. Insert photos. Let's have a, have a look at this. Now, all my photos are in Google Photos, but this would work as well if you're in any other photo program. So let's come down and let's have a look at all the pictures I've taken of my house recently. Now you'll see along here are all the pictures I want to send. So let's have a look. We're going to um, let's click off the pictures we're going to take. We're going to send. Well, there's one here. There's one here. There's one here, one here and one here. Now watch what happened when I clicked that last picture. It says maximum file size exceeded please to set deselect one. All right, so we have to take this one out. And now we're going to send this. So I'm going to send it as an inline. I don't want it as an attachment because I want people to actually see the pictures when they open up the email. And so we're going to insert this now and watch what happens in my email. You'll see all the pictures now are here. So we just have to label it and send it off and you'll be able to see all the pictures. But gosh darn it, I wanted to send more. Maybe if we do it as an attachment, we can get more pictures. Let's have a look at that again. Okay, here we are again. We're back in Gmail. I'm creating a new email now, and we're going to send those pictures as an attachment, not in the body, and see if we can get more pictures in there. Let's give it a try. So we're going to come down and we're going to come to this little photo button again. We're going to click Photos. And again, we're going to come down and find those photos I want to send. OK, let's let's click some photos here. I want to send this one. 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 And the last one, remember, will this work? No. You see, it says maximum file size exceeded again. So it won't let us do it, even if we wanted to send it as an attachment. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to deselect this and the last one again, and we're going to still send it as an attachment. And I'm going to insert them just to show you what an attachment looks like. 
and I'm going to click here. And as you see, these pictures are all being uploaded to the cloud, and there will be a link to those in your email. So again, but you won't be able to see them in the body of the text. And I, I want people actually to see all these pictures when I, when I send them. So how do we solve this problem? Well, I have a little trick for you. Let me show you how to do it. All right, here's the trick, and I've been doing this for the past year, and I use this more and more and more when I want to send pictures. So watch this. Now remember, I'm back in my Google Photos now. You can see that in, uh, on the screen here. You'll see those pictures I want to send. So let me see what, what let me show you what I'm going to do here. We come down to the pictures, and I want to send all these six pictures and maybe some more. So how am I going to do that in Gmail? Well, watch what I do here. This is super easy to do. Anyone can do this. This is So I'm going to select all these pictures here. And remember, we could only get up to four before. We're going to take five and we're going to take six. Okay, we've got all six pictures. And I'm going to come up here to the top of the, um, to the screen here. And you see this little plus button. I'm going to click plus. And we're going to come down here and I'm going to click collage. Let's see what happens. It's now going to take all those pictures and it's going to make a collage for you. But that's just one picture. All right. Now I'm using Google Photos, but any photo editing program will do this. So you could use whatever you want, but I'm just showing you in Google Photos. Now I'm going to I like to save, I'm just going to save this to my downloads directory. I'll show you how we, but you can do it in a variety of different ways. But I'm just going to call this flowers. And I'm going to save it in my, in my downloads directory. Let's go back to Gmail. We have a blank Gmail here. And let's add all those six pictures, which we couldn't do before. in. let me show you how that's going to work. Because we're just going to add the collage, which is one picture. So let's come down to photos. We're now going to, uh, we need to upload the picture into the cloud. Okay, so we're going to hit upload and we're going to choose the photo and we're going to come over and here it is. And it's just in my downloads directory called flowers. And we're going to upload this and it's going to insert it now into the, uh, into my, the body of my Gmail. And look at all, we can see all the six pictures that I wanted to send, but we're going to even send some more. Okay, so now we're going to come back and we're going to click this little picture and we could make more collages, but I also want to add the rhubarb I just planted in my yard. I'm all excited about some rhubarb I planted. And here's three more and we're going to insert those and watch what happens. And now we have all our pictures all our pictures inserted. So not only do we have all six of those pictures, but we've got three more. Now I could have made those into a collage and you could make another collage and you could keep going until you get a whole bunch of pictures that don't exceed your file size in Gmail. So that's simply tricking Gmail into sending a lot more pictures than you normally can do. It's just that collage feature that you need to use in your photo editing program and add that to Gmail and you can send lots of pictures. It's pretty darn cool. All right, let's have a look at the mobile app. This is on my Pixel 6 phone. Let's open uh, Google Photos. Here we are opening Google Photos and we're back into my Google Photos album. Let's look at the pictures. We're going to go up to the top and hit that little plus button. That's going to bring up where an option for us to do collages. Then we're going to come down and let's find those pictures that we did before. All those, uh, those uh, pictures of my garden. Now we're going to live dangerously here. We're going to make six. We're going to choose six of these pictures. You'll see, uh, remember, we can't do this in a normal situation, but we're going to make a collage of all these six pictures on our mobile app. So now we hit save or create, and now, now we see our collage is made. That's simple. And then we're going to save this. And here it's saved. And if you come down to the share button, we're going to click the share button and make this real easy. Guess what? You have Gmail as an option. Let's click the Gmail button. And we're going to send this to myself. So let's uh, let's send this to myself. 
And then we're going to have a look at my Gmail and see what it looks like when we receive it in the Gmail. Here we are. We're going to send it. We're going to call it pictures and hit the send button. Now let's go and look at my Gmail. Here it is. There's the email. Let's open it up and let's open the picture up. And here's our collage with six pictures. That's very easy to do. Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, how to beat the file size limitations in Gmail when sending pictures. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you found the video helpful, please click that like and subscribe, particularly that subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until we see you again, have a great day.